Biscuit Foundation, and this is a Minecraft 1.9 video. Um, and it's better than Jamie's because it's shit. Uh, this is a mushroom biome, and these are mushrooms. Um, you can see the floor's changed, it's much more purpler and fizzy and sparkly. And mushrooms are just cows with mushrooms on their faces. Um, the giant mushrooms spawn here normally, and basically there's a cool part of it. That's a silverfish I found whilst in a stronghold and this is what I thought would help. Sorry about the quality if it's a bit crap. I'm kind of trying to record this on a laptop which isn't sel sensible. Um, if you didn't know, if you have spawn a silverfish and then hit some stone, a lot more spawn. And this is a blaze I think they're called. They are spinning Pokemon looking Pikachus with fire balls firing out of them. And there's some experience orbs. These are nether warts. They grow on soul sand and obviously in the nether. They spawn naturally inside them, dungeon things. This is a stronghold and this is a library. Uh, they are cobwebs that spawn naturally now. They also spawn in caves with like spiders in and blah blah blah. Um, also in the corner is a chest over there. Uh, this is what I found also in the stronghold, which we hadn't actually shown you because we didn't do a one point video, and it spawned right into a, well, a proper dungeon. I sucked at killing these zombies, so I had to get my own back and own them with my diamond sword. I dropped the diamond sword because I completely forgot you had to drag it over. Um, owning some zombies, you can see my sword on the floor there, just use that. And there it is, there is the spawner, right next to the dungeon right next to the stronghold and this is zombies uh, rotten flesh this is a uh, abandoned mine shaft there are three spiders here which will poison you if you're not on creative mode um, also now instead of having pillars made out of wood blocks they are now made out of wooden fences you can see the cobwebs here and that is a spider spawner you can see the spider inside it and you can see the spider eating me this is something very cool and this is a snowman. It's it is a snowman. It's not a golem. It's not a snow golem. It's just a snowman. I'm not going to lie. They are quite awesome and a bit derpy. Um, right, this is an NPC village, and here you can see on the left there's a couple of villagers. They are the stupidest looking things in the world. I really don't understand them, and. I have to admit they are fun to hit because they just, well, they don't do anything. I was just testing if they do anything. And also in the corner is a table. Not anymore. Um, okay, I found this little bug. I'm sure everyone knows about it now, probably. That you can hit things for miles and miles away now. Well, I, th I don't know if it's everything, but you can hit especially NPCs from miles away and kill them. Uh, this is a different type of NPC. There's a normal one, and that one is wearing an apron. I'm assuming it is a um, sort of baker, but I don't really care. This is basically the seed I used, and that's quite true. Um, you spawn in here, which is a swamp biome. Everything is a lot darker, a lot murkier, vines are darker. The water, if you notice, is darker. There's also a brightness slider, which you can use to make it awesome. Lily pads just there, if you didn't notice them. They are new, they spawn in swamps. Mushrooms spawn here as well, still. Also, water kind of merging from one to the other doesn't do anything. Most people don't like it, but I kind of do. It reminds me of the old Minecraft, very blocky and very basic, which is just really cool. Thank you for watching guys, um, if you preferred this video to Jamie's video which sucked, please thumbs up more than his and favourite, goodbye.